Avonik Industries AG is an industrial corporation headquartered in Essen, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany, the largest specialty chemicals company in the world, owned by RAG Foundation. It was created on 12 September 2007 as a result of restructuring of the mining and technology group RAG. Avonik Industries united the business areas of chemicals, energy and real estate of RAG, while mining operations continue to be carried out by RAG. Since then, the energy and real estate business areas have been divested, with no share being held in the former and a minority share still being held in the latter. Its specialty chemicals business generates around 80% of sales in areas in which it holds leading market positions. Avonik Industries employs about 33,000 people and carries out activities in more than 100 countries. The operating activities are organized into six business units which are a part of the chemicals business area. Avonik is the main sponsor of German football club Borussia Dortmund. History Founding of the company Historically, Avonik Industries businesses were part of RAG activities. The idea of splitting the company was put forward in 2005. The background of this idea was that RAG's core business of coal mining is carried out under government contract in Germany, while businesses transferred to Avonik compete in international markets. This structure did not permit the payment of dividends to the shareholders, which limited shareholders' readiness to inject equity into the RAG, which thereby restricted the company's ability to access fresh capital. As the first step, RAG's shareholders sold their shares to RAG Foundation to split RAG. The foundation was established on 10 July 2007, and Avonik Industries was created on 12 September 2007. The original plan foresaw the IPO of Avonik Industries in the first half of 2008. However, this plan was postponed until mid-2010 at the earliest, and the RAG Foundation started to look for strategic investors, while still holding on to the plans for a midterm IPO. In June 2008, the private equity firm CVC Capital Partners bought a stake of 25.01% in the company. Among many other private equity investors who bid for the stake amongst them Blackstone Group and 3i, Russian Gazprom was reported to have considered buying a stake in Avonik Industries. The IPO, by now planned for fall of 2011, was once again postponed in September 2011, this time citing the current state of financial and capital markets and their prospects." RAG Foundation had planned for Avonik's IPO to take place in 2012, but this was postponed as a result of poor market conditions. Avonik shares have been traded on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange since 25 April 2013. Prior to the IPO the company had given institutional investors the opportunity to acquire around 14% of the shares for €2 billion. Euros. <laughs> <laughs> Shareholding structure Since 5 March 2015, the shareholding structure of the Avonik Industries AG is composed as follows 67.9% – RAG Foundation 
14, 0%, Gabriel Acquisitions GmbH a company owned by funds advised by CVC Capital Partners 18, 1%, Free Float Historical significance In 2006, RAG acquired Degusa AG, which was later renamed Avonik Degusa GmbH. In 1998, Degusa instructed the American historian Peter Hayes to clarify the company history during the Third Reich. One of the former subsidiaries of Degusa, the Degish translation, German Corporation for Pest Control, was the main manufacturer and distributor of the chemical Zyklon B, which was used to execute people in gas chambers of German concentration camps during the Holocaust. Furthermore, gold dental fillings, which had been forcefully removed from the mouths of concentration camp inmates, had been processed by Degusa. The historical significance of Degusa appeared again in the publicity surrounding their involvement in the construction of the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin, because the plasticizer and the anti-graffiti coating were produced by Degusa. Therefore, the work on the memorial was interrupted to clarify the situation. In November 2003, the trustees decided to finish the building with the involvement of Degusa. <laughs> Operations Avonik divested its former holdings in the areas of energy and real estate and now focuses on the core business of specialty chemicals. Topic chemicals business area The chemicals business area of Avonik emerged from Avonik Degusa GmbH formerly Degusa GmbH, an acronym of Deutsche Gold und Silberscheid Anstalt German Gold and Silver Separating Works based in Essen, Germany. It employs about 34,000 people and is one of the world's largest producers of specialty chemicals. It includes six business units, advanced intermediates, consumer specialties, coatings and additives, inorganic materials, health and nutrition and performance polymers. Degusa was acquired by RAG in 2006. Its latest acquisition is the Tippecanoe Labs plant site at Lafayette, Indiana from Eli Lilly on 1 January 2010. In November, a plant for the production of D-L-methionine was opened in Singapore. At a cost of €500 million, Euros, it is the largest investment to date in the chemical sector in the company's history. In June 2014, the supervisory board resolved to restructure the group, with plans for the six chemical segments to be bundled into three GmbH limited liability companies from 2015. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Energy business area. The former energy business portion of Avonik was operated through Avonik Stiag GmbH formerly Stiag, which is the fifth largest power company in Germany, based in Essen. The company operates 14 hard coal-fired power plants, of which 11 are located in Germany, and one in Turkey, one in Colombia and one in the Philippines, and two industrial power plants. It also operates in the field of transport, processing and distribution of hard coal, coke and byproducts from coal processing, as well as in the field of gas supply, transport and trading. 
In December 2010 Avonik Industries signed an agreement to sell 51% of shares in its energy business to a consortium of municipal utilities in Germany's Rhine-Ruhr region. The agreement was finalized on 2 March 2011. The remaining 49% were acquired by the consortium for €570 million Euros in August 2014. Real estate business area Ivanic Immobilien GmbH used to manage around 60,000 company-owned residential units in Germany. In addition, it had a 50% stake in Troyhans Tel GmbH, which manages more than 70,000 residential units. Avonik Immobilien GmbH was amalgamated with Troyhans Tel GmbH and placed on a more independent basis in the medium term. As per the resolution of the general meeting held on 25 November 2011, the name of the subsidiary Avonik Immobilien GmbH was changed to VivaWest GmbH. On 1 January 2012 VivaWest merged with residential management company THS under the name VivaWest. In 2013, Avonik sold the majority of its shares in VivaWest to the RAG Foundation, the Avonik Pension Fund, and the coal mining corporation RAG AG. Avonik now holds only 10.9%, and there are plans to sell this stake too. Topic: <laughs> Corporate responsibility. Avonik Industries is a member of the United Nations Global Compact. The annual CR report of Avonik Industries is based on the standards of the Global Reporting Initiative. Avonik is also a founder member of the Together for Sustainability Initiative, focused in promoting sustainability practices across the chemical industry's supply chains, and whose president is the current CPO of the company, Rudiger Eberhard. Topic Sponsorship Avonik has been the main sponsor of Borussia Dortmund BVB since the 2006-2007 season. Avonik was one of the sponsors of the World Chess Championship 2008. Avonik supports the work of the Episcopal Agency. Adveniat for the improvement of the environment in Latin America. On 17 May 2011, as part of a charity football match between Borussia Dortmund and an all-star team from Japan, Ivanik donated €1 million Euros to a children's home situated in the Tohoku, Ichinoseki Shi earthquake zone which was destroyed by the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. Avonik is the main sponsor of the Rebikoff Nigler Foundation, a non profit organization which conducts deep sea research in the Azores using a submersible. <laughs> 2012 Cyclododecatrine plant fire In March 2012, a fire at the Degusa plant in Marl, stopped production of cyclododecatriene CDT, for a duration of several months. The plant produced a substantial proportion of the world's production of CDT, particularly that needed to produce laurelactam, a precursor to the polyamide PA-12. This shortage in turn led to concerns for global production of finished goods, particularly in the automotive industry. 
other biobased polyamides, not dependent on laurelactam or CDT, have been put forward as alternative materials. See also Zyklon B